As ISIS keeps advancing on cities in Iraq, the Sunni militants have reignited one of the oldest conflicts there is, the rift between the Sunnis and Shiites in Islam. While it is evident that Iraq needs significantly more help to break the momentum of extremist groups that bo and bolster the capacities of Iraqi security forces, there's no military solution that will solve Iraq's problems. The conflict between the two began over who would succeed the Prophet Muhammad. Those who supported Muhammad's chosen successor became Shiites. Those who disagreed with his decision and selected their own leader became modern-day Sunnis. The argument split the Muslim community and the two branches never again reunited. In 2003, the U.S. government overthrew Saddam Hussein and toppled his Sunni-led government. The country quickly shifted to a Shia-led government. What is happening in Iraq now is a revolution. It's happening because of oppression, isolation and repression. And as Sunni militants under ISIS try to regain control lost after Hussein, it appears to be giving way to a new period of spreading conflict in the Middle East between Shiites and Sunnis. Now tensions in other Islamic countries like Syria, Afghanistan, Pakistan, Turkey and Iran are on the rise. These small terrorist groups and those who support them, whether in the region or across the world, God willing, they will be defeated. The growing concern now is the possibility of a transnational civil war between Sunnis and Shiites. A collapse of states in the Middle East could follow. I'd also disagree with those people who think this is nothing to do with us and if they want to have some sort of extreme Islamist regime in the middle of Iraq that won't affect us, it will. Cindy Lundeberg, One America News.